to produce stable electrophysiological recordings from Drosophila larval neuromuscular junctions, first dissect open a larva to expose the body wall muscles and nervous system. Prior to recording, the axons at the base of the CNS are cut posterior to the ventral ganglion. Then a recording electrode is placed on the muscle of interest, and a stimulating electrode is placed near the innervating motor neurons. The severed axons of the motor neurons are sucked into the stimulating pipette. Excitatory junction potentials can then be recorded. Hi, I'm Wendy Imlet from the McCabe Lab in the Department of Physiology and Cellular Biophysics at Columbia University. Today we will show you a procedure for measuring synaptic transmission at the neuromuscular junction of Drosophila larva. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study synaptic physiology and neurotransmission. So let's get started. To begin the experiment, dissect wandering third instar larvae to expose the body wall. This protocol is modified for electrophysiological experiments by using short dissection pins. These are about 2 to 4 millimeters in length and are less likely to hit the microscope objective and electrodes during the experiment. After exposing the body wall, use forceps to hold the CNS and raise it slightly. Then cut the peripheral nerve motor axons and remove the brain. After removing the brain, wash the dissected prep twice with HL3.1 buffer with 1 millimolar calcium. Now that dissection is complete, Intracellular recordings can be made from the larval muscle cells. Place